everyone, it's Melody. I am here with a Lululemon collection video. This time I'm gonna be doing outerwear. So I have this series going on right now in my channel where I am sharing all of my Lululemon collection, but I'm doing it in part so that y'all don't get bored. <laughs> I actually, this is a pretty small one because I only have four pieces and it's all outerwear, jackets, hoodies, things of that nature. And I only have four pieces. Let's go ahead and get started. First up here, we have the Cashlu hoodie. I believe that's what it was called. I have mine in the teal. It did come in black, pink, I believe a gray. It has 5% cashmere, like 2% cashmere in it. So it's a really soft material. It's also a complete knit. And I will be trying everything on if you wanna see. And if you wanna see things in more detail, definitely check out all of my Lululemon videos. I do go over things a lot more in detail when I do the initial haul for them. But as you can see, it is a full zip with a hood. It's a very heavy material. So it's nice and warm and thick in the winters. Enough for me anyways. I live in the desert. This is actually pretty warm for me. It does have the little Lululemon symbol on the hood right there. And it's just a beautiful knitted material. I will be trying this on as well. And here it is. I am 5'5 five five for reference. This is a size small. It does have the thumb hole. It is quite comfortable. It does have front pockets. It does zip up all the way. It is definitely more of a fitted style hoodie. I remember when I first purchased it, I could tell that it was just a bit snug in the shoulders. I do have broad shoulders and I could just tell it was just ever so slightly snug, but there's no issues with movement. I don't think I would have sized up to a medium though. I like the fitted look of this. I remember the pink color was also really cute, but I just picked it up in this really nice dark teal. And I'm not sure if you can see, but there is the hood. Next up, I have two of the same hoodie, just in different colors. I believe this was called the Pave the, Pave the Way? Pave the New Day? Something about paving and something about either the way or the day. I got it in this beautiful kind of a speckled black, as well as this light gray. The light gray actually looks like it's textured a bit, but it's actually the same material as the black, but because the black has this sort of speckled white detail, you can't really tell the texture of it too much. This is definitely not like a faux Sherpa material. It's just textured. It is a full hoodie style with a full zip. The back is pretty plain and the only noticeable feature is the little metal hardware here for the Lululemon symbol. I remember in my initial haul video, I had said I was a little bit nervous about this because it's kind of just stuck on there very precariously, <laughs> but it's really never fallen off and I've washed this numerous times having worn it all winter. Let's go ahead and try these on. And here it is on. This also was a size small. You can see because of the relaxed nature of the hoodie, it does not feel or look as snug as the casually one. It has full functioning pockets. I typically won't buy a jacket or outerwear piece that doesn't have full functioning pockets. I just don't see the reason for it. It can zip up all the way. I love how relaxed the fit is. The only thing that I realized I don't love about it is this interior white layer. I wish that they had made it just dark. It doesn't matter. I didn't care if it matched the outside, but I wish they had just made it dark so that it wouldn't be so noticeable when you wear it. But I love wearing this. I actually wore this probably too much during the winter. This one and the light gray one, they were just my go-tos because they were so, so comfortable. I would highly recommend these hoodies. I haven't tried on all of the styles, obviously, of the Lululemon hoodies or jackets, but this one was just so comfortable and I really love it. I will say I do think it's true to size. The size small fits me perfectly. And I love that the hood is not so darn heavy because I feel like some of the Lululemon hoodies and jackets and pullovers, the hoods are so big and heavy, but this one does not feel that way at all. Neither does the casual one that I also bought. So again, the hood lays very nicely, not super heavy, very, very comfortable. You really couldn't even tell this is a Lululemon hoodie because it doesn't have that distinguishable feature in the front nor in the back. It's very subtle, but the quality is fantastic on this. And here it is in the gray. I zipped it up this time just so you can kind of see what it looks like when it's zipped up. It has the front pockets, the slouchier sleeve. I kind of feel like the gray is a little bit more relaxed than the black, and I don't know if that's just from washing and how many times I've worn the black one. Again, no distinguishable like loop feature here in the front. So you really can't tell it's a Lululemon unless you kind of really stare at this little zipper. It doesn't have thumb holes if that's something that you love. So comfortable though. 
I typically won't buy a pullover style hoodie because I like the option of opening it up. So I never buy like the pullover crews or the sweaters. I always like to have a zipper to my, my hoodies and my jacket. As you can see, this one also has the white interior. It doesn't look as bad or as noticeable with the gray because it's lighter. Obviously for the black one, it just stands out much more. And again, I do wish it had been more of a gray interior on this. And you can see the hood a little bit better on this one since it's a lighter color. It lays nicely, not overly heavy, not too bulky. I don't like a lot of things around my neck, hoodies, uh, cowl neck style things. So this is very comfortable for me. And my newest outerwear piece, which may be my favorite because I love it that much. This is the Always Effortless jacket. It just came out this spring and it is stunning. It comes in black, a camel sort of color, pink. And I think they just came out with a gray one as well. I have mine in the teal. I love it. I tried it on in the pink in the store and that's the original color that I wanted, but now I just want all of them because they're so fantastic. So here it is. I have not worn it out yet because it's almost like 100 degrees here. So I'm not gonna be able to wear this until like fall or winter, but it is so phenomenal. I have to share it. I showed this off in detail in my haul video. So definitely go check that out if you wanna see a lot of the details to it. But I did pick mine up in the size six and I felt like it was very accurate to size. I think I could have gone down to a size four, but I like the relaxed look that the size six gives me. It does have pockets. As you know, I won't buy things that don't have pockets. It does have a little bit more detail in the front, as you can see here. It does have a hood, but the hood can be tucked into the collar. The back doesn't have too many distinguishable markings except for the little Lululemon here. So there is the little Lululemon symbol on the back and the hood can be snapped into place into the collar as well. Let me go ahead and try this on. It is fantastic. So here's the jacket on. I left it unzipped. As you can kind of see, it definitely does fall a little bit higher up. It's not a very full long jacket. Uh, I did show off this detail in my other video as well, but it does have Lululemon written here embossed in the same color. I thought that was really kind of neat. A nice little detail. Nice open collar here. It is lined, so it does have a little bit of thickness to it but definitely wouldn't keep you warm, I guess, in the winters, especially if you live in a very cold climate. I think I'll do fine here in the desert with this. You can tell how short it is just because where my tank top is kind of sticking out. It is phenomenal. The quality of this jacket is so spot on. I really love it. And here is the back detail a little bit better. And that is with the hood out which I like, I like the look of hoods. So I'd probably leave it out. Not that I ever wear the hood part, but <laughs> I do think it's nice with the hood out. And that is it, you guys. Those are my four outerwear pieces from Lululemon. I knew I wanted to get this video done soon because it's only getting hotter here. And I just couldn't imagine myself putting all of these pieces on for a try on video when it got super, super hot. It just didn't make any sense to me. So just the four, please let me know which of these four are your favorite. If you own any of these, I would love to know that. Please also let me know what your favorite outerwear piece is from Lululemon. I wouldn't mind adding maybe a puffer style coat. The Define jackets are okay, but I don't particularly love the fitted nature to them. I know that they're very comfortable, but I've tried them on and I don't particularly love how fitted they are. I've also tried on the scuba hoodies as well. And those are the ones with, where the hoods are so thick. I'm just like, oh, it feels like I'm carrying like a backpack on or something. So they're not my favorite, but again, maybe I need to try them on again and just see what I like. So please let me know what your favorite outerwear pieces are. I would love to know. I need to keep my mind open and try other pieces on as well. Uh, please let me know if you like these sort of videos. Give this video a thumbs up if you like Lululemon. It just helps me to know that this is the kind of content you want to see. As I said, I am doing a series of my Lululemon collection to share with you guys. So you guys can see all of those videos as well in my playlist if you would like to. If you wanna see more from me in general, definitely hit the subscribe button down below as well. You guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I really truly appreciate it. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. I will talk to you guys later.